ISA-1 Digital, the classic Focusrite Mic Pre and simultaneous DI. Now with class-leading stereo ADC as standard. It's day three of Mesa, we're here with Paul Eastwood from Universal Acoustics. He's going to show us some affordable and slightly familiar looking British products which have got a few new twists on the Absolutely. old theme. Okay, well we're here at uh, the Frankfurt show and um, this is one of our EPS diffusers which is a uh, material for uh, brightening up a room. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have a habit of uh, possibly overdoing things and it sounds a little bit uh, dry. Okay, so this so reflects and scatters as exactly, opposed to absorbing. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. And it's made of, it feels like expanded polystyrene, it, but it's... It is, it's yeah. that type of product, yeah. All made in the UK, especially for us. And this is one of our uh, standard mercury wedge tiles, mm -hmm. which comes in uh, charcoal, burgundy and purple. Yeah. And this has the flattened tops, which unlike some of the competing products, can fray at the edges, I believe. Exactly, yeah. We've mm -hmm. done lots of research uh, for our previous history in this, this industry. Mm -hmm. And we found, as you quite rightly say, a lot of the uh, other brands on the market tend to sort of fray away after even six to 12 months, which is uh, a little bit disheartening, really. So we've gone to a little bit of extra trouble here. And these, these particular tiles form our uh, Mercury room kits, mm -hmm. which are very popular in the English market at the moment. Mm. Now this shape and the pyramid shape seem to be quite popular, a lot of companies are doing those, but uh, you've got some new shapes somewhere, haven't you? We have actually, we do uh, what we call our Jupiter series, which is, uh, because it's essentially flat, has a very um, excellent acoustic uh, absorption property and a sort of designer type profile there as well. And we also do that in a bass trap version as well, which, um, is that one we see here again in uh, the three primary colours? That's very elegant. All so of these have the uh, the backs chopped off, so you get that extra air gap at the back there yeah. for uh, base absorption. It's also uh, easy to fit them into non-square corners. Absolutely, yeah, that's yeah, definitely. And then over here, um, these are our architectural range, which are made for the um, contractor installer market and these have a class O grade, which means that a surveyor can happily recommend these for the uh, extra fireproof uh, characteristic. Yeah, that looks um, pretty neat. Is that available only in white or do you have various colours? Essentially it's white. We can do a light grey as well if, mm -hmm. if customers like that, but white seems to be pretty good. Mm. And in addition to that you're doing um, speaker support mounts? Yeah, that's correct. We do our popular um, Vibrapad pack, you may have seen those around in some of the UK stores. Yeah, so that's just a, a simple foam isolation base, so Absolutely, if you don't yeah. want to spend a fortune it's a good solution, especially Definitely. if you have your speakers on a, a desk with a, a rather resonant top. Any type of wooden platform, anything like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it just gives a more dynamic response to the actual speakers, they tend to sound a lot better generally. Okay, now for people who are um, into home theatre or, or more professional looking installations, I notice you have some fabric covered pieces we do, over actually, here. actually, yeah. We've, these so, are just so what's launched. the story behind those? Okay, well we've um, recently taken lots of demand from some of the home theatre dealers and they're after something which is more, if you like, designer looking, not quite such a studio type image. And uh, obviously the woman of the house yeah. likes something a bit more domestic looking, so these are available in uh, probably six to eight colours and a, a nice sort of pseudo suede finish. So we're um, looking for um, good demand on these, really, after the show. So what's on the inside on these? Is this well, this is made of a fiberglass material with a, uh, a nice sort of uh, beveled edge. So if you butt, butt them up in clusters or adjacent tiling, they tend to look really good on a wall. Is there a base trap equivalent of this? There isn't at the moment. No, we find that in this market it's not really required yeah. so much as in a typical project studio setup. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks, Paul. That looks like a really uh, comprehensive range and hopefully affordable. As always, Paul, thanks for your help. <laughs>